I just stubbed my toe. Ooh, that kind of hurt, but also not. Ooh, ooh, don't know how I feel about that. Okay. Hi, guys. What's up? <laughs> so, um, yeah, clearly I changed my hair. Very excited about it. Love it. Lena hair. She rocked my world. Um, she's amazing. But basically, so today I did like a one hour transformation. I just did like some kind of natural cute look and curled my hair and then put on like some tanner and like stuff that I would do. This is the jewelry I would probably wear anyway. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. See how I transform in one hour. And I hope you guys enjoy. I'm very tired. Oh, I I'm getting little breakouts because like whenever I get my hair, oh yeah, I dyed my hair. <laughs> but whenever I get my hair dyed, hairdressers always put on like a million, gajillion different products so that like it looks good, which like I totally get. But the products always break me out because my skin is so sensitive. Like it's so bad. I wish it wasn't that way, but it is. Uh, I'm going off on a tangent. Anyways, I'm having little breakouts. So I'm using this Sika Pear Tiger Grass Correcting Treatment. We're going to do this first to give us like an even base before we go into this whole look that we're doing. Like, I'm gonna do more like natural glam-esque on that spectrum. So yeah, let's do this. We're back. Okay, so I did this off camera because I thought I always do eyebrows off camera. So I just did eyebrows. So I think I'm gonna do skin first. No, that's bad. You know, let's just do eyes first. Cause why, no? Yeah, let's do that first. So, I'm just gonna prime my legs really fast. And then I'm just patting this in. This is just my regular concealer. So, I'm gonna set that really quick with just my Cover FX Loose Powder, just so it stays. Some people like are not setting their eyeshadow now because they're like, oh, like it helps the colors, but like my oil it. My eyelids. My eyelids are super oily. So, like, if I don't set it, like that eyeshadow will like look pretty, but it'll crease in like 30 minutes. I'm just gonna do like my go-to. Of course, the Jaclyn Hill palette because what else would I use? And then I'm gonna go in with, okay, these are like kind of crumbling. This is like really bad. I'm gonna go in with like these four. You can't see. What? No. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna start applying these because they just set like a really, really good base. So I'm gonna go in with the yellow one first. I think she calls this one creamsicle or something, but also that could be a lie. So, And we're just gonna buff this in. We're gonna buff this in with the BMX 430 crease. And yeah. Just like I take this one super high because all the colors like blend into this one. So just windshield wiper motions. And yeah, I forgot to say what I used for my brows. For my brows, I used my Anastasia pomade. Uh, da, da, da. I don't know where it went, but my my Anastasia brow definer. It's like the thick one, and then this Gimme Brow in shade three. And then I just cleaned it up with concealer. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with this shade, this orange one. And same thing, just like taking it a little bit lower than the yellow shade. Again, just like you can be super messy with this. It does not have to be perfect. We're just like blending them all into each other. That's hot. Okay. Now, oh, this brush was the, that I took the or, orangey color. This is the Luxie 205 Taper Blending. And then I'm gonna go in with the 229 Taper Blending. And I'm gonna take these two. I always mix these two together right here. Oh, can you see? These two. And I'm gonna put this, focus this more on the outer crease instead of all over like that. And then I just blend it in. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know if I said this. This isn't gonna be like too ornate. This is like a one hour transformation kind of thing. So like basic, but still really good. Like you can be in and out the door and now. I don't know if I wanna do a matte shade or a sparkly shade. I feel like we should always do sparkly. Okay, I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with these two. I love these two so much. I like mix these together. They're like my go-to. I'm just gonna take those on my finger and just apply them how pretty and i'm just gonna blend everything together same same tapered blending brush um i didn't add any more powder or any more eyeshadow just blending i'm gonna go in with these two can you <laughs> i'm like out of the frame these two right here i'm gonna blend those together i guess we're gonna make this very dramatic uh, this is the luxie 237 blending it's just like a lot smaller and then again take these two 
these two and put it like right in the deepest part of my crease and then just continue to blend those out. Actually, I changed my mind. I do want to do a matte eye. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go in with this brush. This is a just mesh. I have had these for a million years. Yeah, this. And I'm going to take the, no, these two shades right here and I'm going to apply it on top. So we didn't add that much shimmer. I'm going to see if that works. That works. Okay, I'm going to just do that. There's still a little bit of like iridescence, but now it's mainly matte. I've never done that before. I'm really glad that worked out. <laughs> okay, so I just blended everything in and I tried to subdue everything to just make it look, because I wasn't really sure what I was going for at first, but I wanted it to just kind of like all blend together and be more like chill. So yeah, that's what we did. Now I'm gonna add eyeliner and I'm gonna smoke it out with a um, shadow. So same thing, you guys saw me do this in my last video. Just do a little, a little wig. Eh, I say little, but like, let's see how this goes. Also gonna add a little bit of shadow so and that was the Maybelline line stiletto it's almost gone so it's giving me some issues okay but now I'm gonna go over it with black shadow just because that looks super dramatic and really fun so I'm just taking this black shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette and this is just a I don't know what this is, but this is it just looks like this and I find this is really good for like wings like if I just want to do like a shadow wing too this is absolutely perfect and I'm just kind of stamping and gliding along the black that we just laid and that's it. It just makes it a little bit more blacker and a little bit more smoky. Ideally, you could do this with coal liner too. I don't know where mine are, but because then it like blends out into like a whole thing. Okay, so now I'm just going to go into the face and then I'll finish the eyes after. So first thing, I'm going to use this professional primer. It just looks like this. And just applying it right in the most porous areas of my face. My nose, and then like up here. Same old, same old, Maybelline 24 hour foundation. And I'm just gonna stamp this all over my face. And you know what else I'm gonna do too? This is a little darker than I am right now. So my solution to that is, I don't have another foundation I wanna use right now. So I'm gonna take the shape tape and I'm gonna also dot some of this to blend in with it. So yeah, and this will help give it a more like matte coverage too. And then just blend it in. Oh, I feel like my nose is running. I like totally forgot about this trick. I did this a lot during the school year. Like I did it in the winter time when my foundation was too dark and I just mixed my concealer with it and it worked beautifully. The one problem with blonde hair, or I, there's probably several problems, but like the thing that I run into all the time is like I get makeup in my hair and it's so noticeable. Cause when you gotta, you gotta blend to the edges, otherwise you're gonna look like a crazy person. And I always get it in my hair. My boyfriend always finds it and he's like, uh, okay, now concealer. This part of this goes way faster because I like have a routine down and I know how it goes. So this is the Tarte foundation er, concealer in Fair. I'm just gonna apply that right there, and then I'm gonna go in with for my little my little friends down here that have decided to join the party. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild concealer. I actually it's like the photo focus one. I really like this concealer a lot. It kind of creases a little bit if you want to put it under your eyes like i wouldn't necessarily recommend that it's really good for like blending out for like blemishes and skin tone stuff i have like no hair and i'm always like like bitch there's nothing there. there like what are you what are you doing Alrighty, i just did it again this is my cover effects what is this actually called cover effects perfect setting powder Ooh, yeah that name is completely rubbed off so i don't know exact color but it's kind of like a yellowy one they have different skin tones though if i'm not mistaken so you just find the one that matches uh the skin tone or is a little bit lighter than your skin tone and the usual spots you guys know how this goes i'm concentrating the most like right in this area because those are where those bags really come out to play and then my mustache of course and then i do minimal up here because well I watched this interview with Kylie Jenner and she says that she doesn't put like concealer or powder right here really anymore because it ends up like looking cakey and like you're wearing a lot of makeup. I'm just like very minimal. Oh, I forgot my contour kit. BRB. So now same old, same old. But I haven't applied self tanner in a minute, so I'm gonna go in with the middle and the lightest. I don't know why I like feel like I need to mix them, but like it makes me feel better. So just like let me have that. And then same thing. 
hollows of the cheeks because that's why you apply contour where you want the shadows to be. So you apply it like right, right up in there. The little fish face, if that helps you, then you make that when you're blending. But that just applies it. It really like thins the face out and makes it look, makes it look snatched. And I've been doing this thing that I saw Desi Perkins do where she starts in the center and then works her way out. And I really like it. I've been doing it more. It just like looks more blended and like nice. So yeah. And for color matching too, for contour, contour is typically more ashy. Like I know some people who use bronzer to contour, but like ideally you would use something a little bit more ashy, but also like matches your skin tone. And then for like under eye powders, you want those to be like a shade or two lighter than your skin tone. Cause you want it to bring it forward, to bring it out nose contour brushes okay so i'm gonna use these two this is the luxi oh wait that contour brush this is the sigma large angled contour f40 and then this bad boy is the luxi 231t okay i have a hair so much. i feel it oh it was like baked into my skin so i'm gonna take this same thing into the lighter ones this one is just like barely angled so it kind of helps i've tried to do it with like a more angled brush and it just kind of like messed me up so and then again just start up and then work up by the arch of your brow or not the arch of your brow the start of your brow also i've realized it's much easier to control everything with powders than it is with like uh creams at least that's in my opinion. Okay, and then I've been using this one for highlight. This is the 207T. And I'm just mixing it in with the two lightest shades, like the banana color and then the highlight one. And I'm apply it to the sides and then lay to the center. That's okay for right now. No! Okay, I seriously do drop something in literally every single video, but that one was a brush, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Okay, bronzer now. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Forever Bro Pro Bronze Fusion. It's so pretty. I might buy another one. I was gonna like go and buy like a new bronzer and like test out like the Morphe ones or whatever, but like this bronzer is so good. So I'm just gonna go like this. Really just press it in there. And then apply it to my cheeks. I definitely took this bronzer for granted because I saw like Jordan Lipscomb use it and then she was like, oh, like I love it so much. And I was like, okay, I have that and I don't love it that much. And then once it broke, like I keep reaching for it all the time and I'm like, I miss it. It just has like a nice little sheen to it. I just, just now just like reconvinced myself to buy it. Oh, so, just blending, blending, blending. Down the neck too. So that match like a little and then i'm gonna go in with the color pop one i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this this bronzer this is the golden moment bronzer and just warm things up a little i feel like my neck i'm definitely gonna have to apply tanner to my neck because she's a little bit paler get rid of that double chin okay so I mean, technically, I didn't really apply anything in my cheek area because these actually aren't that bad of a powder, and I don't have that much powder in my cheek area. Yeah, it's still really tacky right here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go in. I just love these so much. I, like, reused this one, or, like, I used this one for the first time in a long time yesterday, and I was like, wow, I forgot how good these were. So I'm gonna go in with Beam and Dawn and just put them on my cheeks. And then... That one is beam. And I'm gonna do a little bit of this one because this one is like so dark. It's really good when you're tan though. Like literally just like that. Okay, and now I'm just blending this in. This is the, again rubbed off, but like small dense synthetic brush that I'm using to blend it all out. And this sets like powder anyway. I mean like trying to justify doing cream over powder even though I say every video not to do it. I'm just gonna go over it with the beauty blender and blend it all in. Just take this brush again and like blend the bronzer area into the cheek. Okay, I've been like continually going in with this super, uh, you know, after like 17 videos, you think I know how to say this, super shock cheek and double down. I'm just applying this from the like I don't know what this area is, but up to my eyebrow, to the tip of my eyebrow. Hee. <laughs> I love a good little nose highlight. Okay, and then now I'm gonna go in with this artist couture and Illuminati, cause why not? 
And I'm gonna take this brush. This is the Pro Precision Tapered. And ooh, ooh, ooh. do you see like the, whoa, okay. And just apply this. Wow. Highlight has recently taken over my life and I'm really not mad about it. A little bit to the nose. I'm gonna go back in. Oh, I'm gonna also do this one. This is the Becca, because <laughs> I'm an addict. This is the Becca Prosecco Pop. I'm gonna go in with this little fan brush on top. And apply it to the same area. So now I'm gonna finish my under eyes. I think I'm gonna go in with like the same colors. Like I'm gonna take this blending brush we used earlier and use that orange shade and just drag it underneath. And then I'll take same thing, the shorter blending blend that the shorter blending brush we use. And these two colors right here, right next to them, and same thing. I'm going to use this little guy, this little synthetic brush, and mix these two inner ones, or top ones, and put it in my inner corner highlight. And also brow bone. Inner corner highlights I feel like are super underrated. Like I've literally been like stopped in my track. And like I've asked someone like, what's your inner corner highlight? Because that is so bomb. Okay, and then I'm also, I'm gonna use Prosecco Pop and put that on the inner and brow bone too. Just to add a little more shimmer. And then I'm going to blend it out just because it gets super like separated right there. Okay, now I'm going to add mascara. Actually, no, what I'm going to do first. I feel like my forehead is creasing a little. So I'm going to apply some powder. Some Cover Effects powder. No idea what color this is. And this is the Sigma Large Powder F30. And I'm just going to put a little bit. Just like dust some in the center and below my bronzer. Stays put. I've been applying this one first, the Lash Paradise, and then the Cover Fat or the Cover Girl Lash Blast Volume. Second, because this helps like separate them more, and this definitely makes them more clumpy. And I like the clumpy look. And again, like when applying mascara, it's really important to use zigzag motions. Like start at the very root, push your lashes all the way up, and then zigzag. Do not just like go like this. That is a definite no go. Zigzag. Zigzag, zigzag, and make sure that you get the tips of the lashes too Because sometimes you forget about those and then it's like oh half of your lash isn't covered in mascara And it makes it look shorter than it really is Let's See okay now I'm gonna do it the other side and I'll be right back Okay, so I finished applying mascara um, okay, so I'm gonna do lips first though. I'm going to do, this is the Whirl MAC Lip Liner. Same thing you guys have been seeing me doing. This is like my favorite lip right now. So I'm just gonna like overline my lips like a little bit and then put the lip gloss on top. Okay. And I'm gonna apply, this is the Buxom Lip Gloss in Amy. Sick, okay. So next thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do hair, but also I'm gonna spray myself with this airbrush legs, Sally Hansen stuff. This stuff is amazing. And it'll just give me a little bit more color. And you just spray, <laughs> and then you just rub it in. And like, you best believe like this one hour transformation, like I'm gonna go in looking super pale and I'm gonna come out looking like a goddess. Okay, I mean like necklace. Should have thought this through. It's fine. It's really pretty easy to rub in, too. And my arms. Same thing, like technically it's supposed to be for legs, but like I use it on my entire body. Which is probably why I run out of it so fast. But like it's so good. Especially if I don't have time to tan or I was too lazy to tan the night before because I definitely could have, but I just was not feeling it last night. So this really helps. Oh, this, and this is in the color Medium Glow. It's amazing. And I love it so much. Like, good enough. It's fine. Um, and then what else do I do to, like, get ready? Oh, I'm gonna apply, I'm gonna put, apply, 
I'm gonna put this Milani baked bronzer. This is in the color Soleil. And I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush. This is a Morphe, I don't know. And I'm just gonna take this and like where my blush was pretty much. Apply this. Just like helps a little bit. Bring everything together. Okay, so now we're gonna do hair. I'm just gonna do some, I literally look like a little sheepdog right now. Or a soccer mom, one of the two. Um, I'm just gonna do some loose curls and we'll see, we'll see how that goes. I have this, this is the new me something. It's like titanium barrel and it's, and I couldn't tell you how it's like this is either. I have no idea, but <laughs> basically, I'm just, I would brush my hair first, but like, I don't want to, so there's that. Also, if you have one hour, like maybe you don't have time, you know what I'm saying? So basically all I do is wrap it around, hold it for like roughly eight seconds, let it go, and then I hold it like this, just so that the curl cools in your hand and it stays better. And then I'm also gonna alternate, like this one, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wrap forward, and the other one I wrapped back. Oh, the ones about your face always wrap backwards because that just like looks way better and it gives you like, I don't know, oh, blowouts. When you get blowouts, that's what it looks like. But or if you curl the ones trimming your face towards your face, it just, it won't look as good. Trust me, this reaches. Ooh, we're getting a little close and personal. And now this side. Why do I always sweat when I curl my hair? Someone let me know. Okay, that's good enough. Um, I like it to be just kind of like, I like it to be kind of messy. So like I am not too meticulous with it. So like if some pieces aren't curled, then it's like not the end of the world. And then I'm gonna do the next layer. I usually do three, just cause my hair is so freaking thick. These are so pale. Oops. See, when Kim Kardashian, so she just like released her, uh, I said her name really weird, Kim Kardashian. She just released her like body makeup and I was like, oh, like that's kind of dumb. Like only celebrities are going to use it. But for stuff like this, that would actually be like kind of brilliant. Like look, people give them so much shit. And I'm like, okay, hi, he, those are female entrepreneurs who are kind of killing the game. My mom would kill me if she heard me say that. She hates the Kardashians. I feel like for no good reason either. Like they're, they're people, they're women, they're celebrities. And like Kim is like now a lawyer and is like trying to like change the world. Like that's pretty sick. And they all have like makeup lines and Chloe has her clothing line. Like it's pretty sick. All while raising families, which is also very hard to do. So props to them. I give them a lot of credit. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this layer. So again, we're alternating. So this one's gonna go in and hold. So how are you guys? You doing well? Good. But oh, also what's really nice about this is the barrel rotates um, like on the handle. So I can like flip my arm upside down and do all these kind of like weird positions just to like get all the hairs because it rotates for you, which is super nice. Yeah, I don't know what I would do without that. Oh wait, no, it's not the barrel, it's this part. Here, let me show you. This part rotates. Oh, so I guess it like is the barrel. For initially, I thought it was this part, but this rotates. Get all up in that hair. Cause especially with short hair, you have to like angle and like do all these types of stuff so that you can get all the hairs, but also not burn yourself. With long hair, it takes longer, but it's definitely easier. Why is curling hair an extreme sport? Okay, so I'll do this one as the last layer. Then. A nice little center part. But I'm gonna do this. Wait, come back, baby, come back. Um, and now for this top layer, so like on the bottom ones, I was definitely doing bigger curls. I'm gonna do a bunch of like little ones up here, just so that it like gives me more body. But like for underneath, I was like, eh, I don't really care. Cause it definitely takes longer to do smaller curls. It's faster to do bigger curls. And these last two, since they're so close to my face, I'm gonna do away from my face. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, okay, so I finished cleaning my hair. I also added some concealer to the most inner part of my lip just because I thought it would look good. I wanted to like lighten it a little bit. So basically I think that's it for like a one hour transformation. Like this makeup doesn't take that long, but it still looks good. And the curly hair, I just, again, parted it in sections, like finger combed it with my fingers. 
I hope you guys liked this, this one hour transformation. Uh, it's kind of natural and like matte, so it's a little bit different than what I do, but I really like it. And the only other thing I would do for this is like add an outfit, but I'm just, I'd probably just like wear this and then like jeans. Okay, I'm gonna stop babbling because I don't have any more storage left. But basically, I really, really like the way that this turned out. So yeah, I really love this. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next week. I really need to eat some breakfast. Also, I'm sweating.